Hello, my CIT 111 class. I see that a lot of prob people are having problems with the uh, assignment this week, which is very possible. So I am actually going to walk through what I was kind of looking for you guys to accomplish. Um, it's important for me that you don't get lost on a simple task because we will be doing some more complicated stuff in the future. And to me, this is a little bit easier, but um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to show you how I write it. And then I want you to use my application, compare it against your application and see where you messed up. Fix your application accordingly. So I'm going to create a new uh, package here. And I'll call it uh, homework. All right. So I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call mine Wi-Fi um, uh, Troubleshoot. And I'm going to choose my public static. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is minimize this because that's too big. I need a variable to... Uh, I'm going to grab a variable that's going to be used to um, do uh, responses. So it's able to receive the response. So I'm going to say a variable to hold the user's responses. Okay. So we'll start off with string response. Now I need a scanner. I need to use a scanner class. So I'm going to create a scanner class, scanner object. And it'll be scanner keyboard equals new scanner system.in. All right, so now it's barking because I do not have that imported up here. So I'll come up here, import. Actually, let's do it the easy way and send me type in. I can just come on here. It's going to import it for me. Boom, it imports it. Awesome. All right, <clears throat> now we need to uh, display a message, introductory message. Okay. All right, I will do system.out.println. Remember print line is when you want to display stuff on a screen. If you want to do print, that would be if you're sending a message to the scanner. So for example, I'll put this program, I'll say this app, makes it sound better. This app will help you resolve a, uh, yeah, resolve a bad Wi-Fi connection. All right, perfect. All right, so that's my <clears throat> starting point. I'm going to stop there. There we go. All right, excellent. So now we will start our questioning. So this will start the questions. The other thing I want to point out, because I've seen some, of pe some people source code and all, you want to make sure that your code is well kept in a line. You see how I'm going down the line? You don't want to have code over here, code over there. Because it makes it very difficult to try to troubleshoot and figure out what's happening. I want to make it simple to figure out what's happening, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type system.out.println. I'm going to say perform this action. First thing I'm going to have them do is reboot the computer and try to connect. Now, <clears throat> are these the right exact words, methods to do? I don't know. I just kind of made it up based off of what I would do. All right. Then I would do system.alt.println. Print. Sorry, not print line. Because now we want to give them a question. We want to say, did you, did that fix, we'll say, did that resolve the, your issue? Okay. And you want to give them a, an option. Tell them to say enter yes or no. So you want to give them that option, okay? <clears throat> and then do, after you do that, you want to do colon. So I'll tell you in a second what we're trying to do here. All right. So what we're doing at this point right here, we're saying perform this action. We tell them, we want you to reboot your computer and try to connect. So what you do is you restart your computer. Next thing you do is you give them a question. So this right here is a question you're providing them. You're going to output... Say, hey, did this resolve your issue? Yes or no? You tell them to enter yes or no. Because if you don't tell them what to do, they won't know what to enter. So we give them a little white space here for them to enter yes or no. 
So what we want to do is say, hey, okay, if it's yes, then guess what? We end the program. If it's no, we go to the next line, okay? So this starts the question. And I'm not going to do all these. I'm going to give you a couple just to let you see how this works, okay? So the next thing I would do is I would say response. That's my value up here. I'm going to say response equals member keyboard dot next line. Now I'm going to do an if. I'm going to say if response dot equals no because we want to we we're entering in what we think they're going to enter and they're going to enter yes or no okay we're going to say does it equal no then we're going to come down here and hit enter and hit the left squiggly guy and <clears throat> we're going to do an indention here we're going to do okay system dot out dot print line perform this action so now we're giving them a second idea to do reboot the router and try to connect so now we're giving them a second option, okay? Make this wider here. All right, so we're giving them a sec second option. <clears throat> and so after we give them a second option, what do we want to do? We want to find out if it works. So I'm going to copy this line right here and paste it. And we're saying, did that work, yes or no? Now what we need to do is we need to record the response. So we're going to copy this line. We're reusing a lot of source code here again. So we'll copy this and paste it here because we're co recording what they said. Okay. <clears throat> so if it's a yes, guess what happens? Um, it ends the program. So then what we need to do is we've said, hey, does that, that equal that, that next line here? Now we need to um, build off of that. Now this ends right here. Now we need to put another if condition, okay? So now we need to say, oh, okay. If you get my idea, we're doing response dot equals. <clears throat> excuse me. No, we're gonna do no again. And then we're gonna come down here and do the same thing. Let me do a squiggly here, and we're gonna go down and keep doing the same thing. So in this case right here, 